Whenever I use stiff hook links, whether that be mouth trap for my chod rigs, the new boom for a boom section on a spinner rig, or even the hybrid stiff, which is a thick coated braid, I prefer to use a crimp. All of those hook links, by their very nature, are stiff, they're designed to do that type of job. Um, and because of that, tying a knot, tying a very good knot, can be tricky. Now, by using a crimp, you can not only make all of your rigs exactly the same length, I think the biggest factor is that in most cases, a crimp is actually stronger than a knot. I work at a lot of shows up and down the country and open days in shops, and I get quite a few people that say to me, they've tried the crimp tool and it doesn't work. I find that painful because I use it a hell of a lot. But when you ask a few questions, it always comes down to a very similar thing. They're actually trying to use it on the wrong type of hook link material. They might be trying it on light monos, on uncoated braid, soft coated braid, but quite simply, those products and the crimp tool, they're not designed to work together. As soon as you crimp it, you go to pull it, it will slide through, defeating the whole object. For years, I've been a massive advocate of the chod rig. I fish them really, really short. I used to tie a two-turn tucked blood knot. Now, it's not a tricky knot to tie, but when you're trying to get a chod rig really short, you still found yourself getting a hook in your finger quite a lot. As soon as the crimp tool came out, I started to actually crimp a small loop into the bottom of the rig. Not only did it make it easier, but it made my rig better too. So just to clarify, the hook links that I use and are safe to be crimped are the hybrid stiff coated braid, the three strains of mouth trap, and the two different booms. Whilst testing the new boom hook link over many years, we actually realised we could make a change to the crimps to make those even better as well. They're now made with a much softer metal, which means that they crimp down easier and they're tighter, more flush to the hook link, which makes them even stronger. Now, when you're using the boom, it's really, really simple and easy thing to remember. If you use the 25 pound, which is the lower breaking strain, you use the small crimp. If you use the 35 pound, the higher breaking strain, then you use the large one. Hope that helps.